Hello friends, Christian O here. I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Today I'm going to show you 10 of my least favorite fragrances in my personal collection. I wouldn't even think twice about throwing them in the trash or cashing them out. We start today, well let me give you a disclaimer first. Your feelings might get hurt because many of these fragrances are Hall of Fame, very, very popular designer fragrances. If you like one that I'm about to talk to, good for you. This is a fragrance that you do, you, I do, me. Don't be mad if I talk about Jupe, which I'm not going to because I quit wearing it in 1997 and it's still full, but it's not on this list. But don't get mad, for example, if I was to talk about this fragrance and it's one of your favorites that you wore today. That's not what this video is about. It's just my opinion. My opinion doesn't matter. It's my collection and fragrances that don't get used. And the beauty of this video is many of the fragrances I don't really talk about much in the other videos because I never use them. I have not much to say about it. The whole channel was built on 80% unbiased opinions. So here's a video with a biased opinion. I will describe the fragrance, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like. This is the recycle box that all these fragrances need to go in. That noise is the recycled trash guy taking them all away. You hear it? This is my old corn CD. This is the first fragrance called Curve for Men. Shout out to Zach Randall. He is a trash man every day. He's the viewer of the day. He lives near Chicago, Illinois, about two hours out. Comment down below if you're from Chicago. This is called Curve for Men by Liz Claiborne. Came out in the 90s. Why do I dislike this fragrance? Because it is so basic. Yeah, it was pretty good back then. And then in the early 2000s, the price dropped to a nice respectable price under $20, like the rest of the Curves, the Curve Wave and all that, they're all affordable. But this one, they think they have an icon here, which they do, and it's demanding almost a $30 price tag. What would be better to wear than this is called Nautica Voyage. And that is starting to hike up a little bit, but still 15 to $18. Now it's all 25. They think they're high in their horse. They do have Curve Wave you can get for $15, 4.2 ounce bottles. It's just old school, man. It's dated, it's trash. Throw it in the trash. Sorry. Have you ever walked by a cat litter box and after he just peed and you smell that floral cat litter mixed with the urine? This is what CK1 smells like to me. Starting today with Calvin Klein CK1. This just is too much dated fragrance. The bottle comes in and this you have to put it together and the price is not bad, it's cheap, but it doesn't even last long. It doesn't really get compliments. It was good back then in the late 90s when it was a unisex fragrance and everyone loved it, but now, no. Next up is a cool fragrance called Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. And I really, really love this fragrance. It's got ginger and Szechuan pepper. And anthracite's like a mineral carbon type of note. And it's very much polarizing and intoxicating. And the strength and power on this is incredible. The problem with this fragrance, yes, I'm talking all good things about a fragrance I hate. The problem is, when do you wear it? I used to wear it and people would always curl their nose up like that to it. I said, what are you wearing? It's so strong. So you got to be careful with this fragrance as well. It's more of a fragrance that you could wear for yourself that you don't care with, or you know exactly what type of situation you're going to wear it in, like a black tie event or some sort of wedding, somewhere you're dressed up where there's a lot of air and a lot of people and you're roaming around, especially not for work. Other than that, it's a very good fragrance. It just doesn't get sprayed. And here's the next one that's gonna make you mad. What could you possibly say bad about this fragrance? Why would you say anything wrong with this? This is called Angel Cryptomint. I actually love this fragrance and I wore it today just because I pulled it out. I hadn't worn it since 2017. And that's the thing, look at it, it's still full. I just don't know when to wear it, but it does remind me like of a pistachio ice cream shop and, and it just the color of the bottle does. It's got frozen peppermint and florals and chocolate in it and tonka in it. It does last eight hours long and it does smell really good on some of my friends. Again, I just don't know when to wear this. It's today I wore it because of the video. Other than that, it, it just coming up next. I've got a celebrity fragrance, a very, very expensive Tom Ford fragrance and four 
extremely popular designer fragrances. And the last one on the list is such an innocent, such a never talked badly about fragrance. And you're going to find out in a second. And we're going to start right now with this celebrity called Sean John 3 AM. It recently had a price drop. This is a beautiful bottle, a beautiful box. It says 3 AM on it. It's nice and heavy. But I can spray my trash can with it. It's just so basic. It's really a citrusy, sporty, floral fragrance. The touch of florals. Lots of easy to wear. They say you can wear it at 3 a.m. And it has a nice little leather suede note inside it. It's not bad. And the price is fantastic. And it's got a pretty cool bottle. It's nice and heavy. And it sprays out like a Dior Sauvage. Everything was nice and the price again. That's all I can say about it, but I don't ever wear it. Look how full it is. Next up is a fragrance that smells so fucking good. Except I never wear it. It's called Tom Ford Vanilla Fatale. It's a gorgeous vanilla scent. Extremely long lasting. And it just sprayed it on here. It dries down to a fatal vanilla. You think about that TV, you know, Tom Ford... Tobacco vanilla minus the tobacco, all vanilla. And it's kind of sweet and floral. Again, when do you wear something like this? Except for when you just want to smell it. Things, sometimes fragrances, you just smell them on your hand or you want to smell them on paper and they smell awesome. Next up, we have a fragrance by Azaro. It's called Chrome Legend. This is like 4.2 ounces, under 30 bucks. And look. I never use it. Maybe you like it. Maybe you wear it. I never use it. So it's like, I don't like it. It's soft, fresh, and, soft, fresh, and sweet. It's kind of got a sour orange mixed with green apple note. And the audience is definitely perfect for college students. All the way up to 55 The price is right. It's a great signature scent. It's just a basic average scent. If you said, I wear Chrome Legend, I don't know. I might respect you because you... You're going beyond and you're smart. You're a smart shopper if you wear this. You could compare this to Nautica Voyage, which costs $10 less. Okay, you're really going to hate me. Here comes the, the worst ones. Special mention to Lalique Ancre Noir Sport. Why? It's just so dark and I just can't wear it. I don't enjoy it. People around me don't enjoy it for some reason. Maybe I haven't given it a chance. But maybe I'd rather spray my basement with it because it, the mold in the basement comes around. So, La Ligue en Carnage Sport. Sorry, bro. Special mention. And then you have this one is really going to make you mad. This is a multi-generational fragrance that has survived decades and decades. And it's called... When I go to gatherings and people know that I'm a fragrance vlogger and I ask them... Hey man, what kind of fragrance do you like to wear? And they tell me cool water. Secretly inside, I'm just laughing and giggling. Cool water, it's basically a citrusly clean scent with some herbal notes, a touch of peppermint and woods. This is the godfather of aquatic fragrances. It made in 1998. On the flip side, if I was talking to a 19-year-old college student and he said I wear cool water, I'll be like, man, dude... You know everything about music, you know how to dress, you know the terminology, but you don't know the fragrances. However, the other day I did meet a cool 19-year-old college student, and this is what I would recommend to you guys if you wanted to buy something else other than cool water and be cool and be hip and be up to date and smells way better than cool water. It's called Diesel. Only, not only the brave diesel, fuel for life. And now, you have this one here. Yes, I'm going to talk about it. Don't you dare, don't you dare talk about this, Giorgio Armani Aqua Di Gio. I dare you to. Aqua Di Gio, old school. I wore it three weeks ago in my house when I broke my foot because I wasn't going to see anyone and it was just sitting there and I couldn't reach any other fragrances. That's when I wore this fragrance. I know you love it. I know you grew up with it. I knew back in the 90s, I used to wear it too. In the early 2000s, clubbing. I wore this clubbing. I wore this to bar and grill. I wore it on date night. It works for everything. It was a compliment pooler, magnet, chick pooler, everything you want to say good. Now... If we were it around college girls or any kind of women, they don't get too many more compliments. 
not that many and people are like ah oh, that smells like my grandpa so it's dated now it's basic now and it does last four hours but something better to buy you would try the aqua di Gio if you like the dna the profumo way better than this it's got some more spices pumped in it lasts longer it projects more and gets compliments and you can also try this one, one of my favorite absolute or absolute instinct that's what I would try and replace for this. Now the number one fragrance, and it's not the number one fragrance I hate. It's the number one because the most popular, most well-loved fragrance. And it's just something inside this fragrance that attacks my sinuses. Oh, it's not a bad fragrance at all. It's a damn good fragrance. Excuse my French. It's called Azara Wanted by Night. It actually looks cool. It lasts a long time. It's sexy. It's mysterious. It's leathery. It's boozy. But for my skin, I smelled it the first time. I was like, yes, I got a new signature scent. And I sprayed it. And I instantly, within an hour, I couldn't stand myself. I couldn't stand the smell of myself, the way it turns sour on my skin. Or maybe it's the projection. It projects very well. It gives you a nice scent bubble. And it did just did something. And I was like, felt like I'm allergic to cats so it felt like I was, something inside here made me allergic and that's the only reason why as you can see I never wore it anymore since then now let's go back me and you and everyone else let's go in the comment section and argue about what's your least let's what's your most hated fragrance let's comment down below and I'll see you on the next video which is right here